What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This video is brought to you guys by Stellar and we're taking a look at the really awesome speed up Mac software. Now this thing has the capability to do everything you could possibly need to speed up your Mac. It can remove log files, system junk, trash, leftovers, and duplicate files. You can also go ahead and uninstall unwanted applications and widgets, also plugins and language packs directly from within the application. There's also the ability to clean up your system memory and of course clear junk from removable devices along with disabling login items that can meddle with with your performance. So as you guys can see, this is what the software looks like. And as you guys can see, it is free for 30 days. So I'm going to go ahead and download this and show you guys all the different cool things you can do with this. All right, so taking a look at speed up Mac application over here. And as you guys can see, we have different volumes here, one of which is a full fledged hard drive and of course the hard drive itself. And then we have my SD card. So all of these, you can actually go ahead and optimize the volume performance by removing any duplicate files, language files, unwanted large files that are potentially sitting inside of these. Next off inside of memory, this is the one that will help your Mac a bit more, not necessarily drives. Basically inside of here, you can actually go and do a full on memory cleanup and as you guys can see out of my 16 gigabytes of memory we have 1.97 gigabytes available that's not exactly great so I'm gonna go and clean that up real quick and my fans are going so hopefully this will make it so my fans don't have to go as crazy trying to keep this computer cool um, wait while the system memory is cleaned in the meantime oh there we go so it went ahead and cleaned it up and check this out I now have 4.91 gigabytes of memory available, which is really, really cool. You can run this a few times and get it really, really nice and cleaned up, maybe close some applications and run it, and you're pretty much set to go in that regard. My favorite thing here is that you're able to drag and drop applications into here so you can actually go and uninstall them on the spot. So as you guys can see, here are all of my applications. And if there is, sometimes I'll hit date modified and I can actually go and see which ones were installed ages ago for example here are some of the first applications that i ever installed and inside of here there might just be something that i just literally do not need maybe sound control there's handbrake in here there's a bunch of random applications that i just don't care about even some apple applications that you know you just don't necessarily need i don't think i can actually install this since this is from apple but it would be interesting if i am actually able to um let's see what it lets me do scanning files and as you guys can see, this also has the option for you to remove plugins, widgets, and apps as a whole as well. Now that was an Apple application. I just tossed it in there just for kicks. I'm not actually going to go and uninstall podcasts. I don't think there's a point in doing that. I don't need the 40 megabytes. But let's go ahead and see what this thing allows me to do in terms of apps. So as you guys can see here, it's going to go and scan the PC and pull up all the different applications that it sees that are potentially something it can go and get rid of. And you can actually go ahead and see everything based on file size. And the coolest thing here is it's still scanning, but the coolest thing is you could actually go and select multiple. So I can go ahead and maybe select one of these or do I, oh, I could just hit stop. Let's hit stop. Otherwise it's going to scan everything. And so once it goes and finds everything, we can actually, all right, what does this say? This action will stop the current scan. Yes, we do. All right, and then here's the cool thing. Let's say we don't want brackets and we don't need fast raw and we don't need clip menu. This is actually pretty funny that it takes that long to like check. This shows how slow my Mac actually is. So hopefully this is a cool way to go and free up some space. Brackets is something I haven't used in ages. So these are things I could actually get rid of and you just hit uninstall now and it will bulk uninstall those applications all on its own. For time's sake, we're not actually going to go and do that. Then, of course, we also have widgets that it can go and scan. Unfortunately, I don't have any widgets on this Mac. Um, they aren't really available on Big Sur anymore. And lastly, let's go ahead and see if we have some plugins. We do have some weird plugins in here. Nothing that's taken up too, too much space. So I think we're okay in that regard as well. But if you guys want to get rid of some of these, I would double check sometimes what plugins you do need. If it says Apple, don't do it. But yeah, short of that, you're pretty much good. Last but not least, we also have login items. So let's see what's uh, jumping into my computer the second uh, we go and log in. We have some applications, for example, my calendar, clip menu, spectacle, flight zoom. So these are all applications that I am okay with starting up. I did actually go and remove a lot of login items directly within the Mac settings themselves. That's another way to do it. But if you want to do it a lot easier and have it all in one application, this is the way to go. You also have preferences here. So of course, you can actually go ahead and uh, mess with how you want to like 
uh, scan what partitions inside of your drives and so on and so forth which is really really cool you also have a bajillion languages in, uh, languages in here there's cleanup settings you can also even set it up to do a full-on schedule so it does it every single day automatically how cool is that so in all guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if so leave a like and don't forget to subscribe thank you guys for watching this is going to be me logging off